Hi, it's good to be with you. What happens when? Your microbiota is imbalanced. What this means is your microbial population in your gut has a larger population of bad bacteria when compared to the good ones. How did the bad ones enter your system? What do they feed on? How do they thrive? And what are the signs and symptoms that you have bad bacteria in your system? And lastly, how to fix this problem? All coming up. Your gut flora is known as microbiota. What lives there is bacteria, fungus, archaea, viruses, and protozoans. Bacteria enters your body through air, when you breathe, food, and water. When the population of bad bacteria increases, what happens to us? How can you tell you have bad bacteria in your gut? Well, there are signs that indicate so. Signs such as if you have autoimmune problems such as thyroid issues, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, digestive issues such as irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn or bloating, sleep issues, skin rashes and allergies, sugar cravings, unexpected fatigue or sluggishness, unexpected mood disorders such as depression or anxiety, unexpected weight gain or loss. If there is no other medical cause, their symptoms could be related to unhealthy gut. Do you recognize experiencing some of the signs and symptoms just mentioned? Well, then you're infested with bad bacteria in your gut. Let's find ways to fix it. You all know that it is so essential to have good gut bacteria to maintain optimum health. So here are the ways how you can do that. Avoid taking unnecessary antibiotics. It can reduce both good and bad bacteria. Eat natural sources of probiotics. They have helpful bacteria from fermented process like plain yogurt with live and active cultures, kefir, kombucha, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso. You should cut back or avoid processed foods like pizza, burger, fries, sausage, bacon. Eat prebiotics. They contain high fiber like vegetables, fruits, whole grains. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. You can add fresh fruits to your water to add flavor. Sugar causes imbalance of gut microbes. Bad bacteria feed and thrive on them. You should reduce stress. Studies suggest stressors can disrupt the microorganisms in the intestine, even if it is only short-lived. A good way to reduce stress is by doing meditation, yoga, get deep, restful, quality sleep. A 2014 animal study indicated irregular or disturbed sleep can have a negative impact on gut flora. Exercise regularly. Research has suggested that it may improve gut health. Workout may increase species diversity. A 2014 study found that athletes had a large variety of gut flora than non-athletes. Avoid smoking. Smoking affects gut health. A 2018 review of research published over a 16-year period found that smoking alters the intestinal flora. When you do all these, the bad bacteria in your gut dies. There's also evidence that when you fast or intermittent fast, it destroys them. Your gut bacteria feeds on processed and refined foods, sugar, everything that is not healthy for you to eat, they thrive on. Write in the comments below all the things that you are doing to improve your gut health. Stay healthy, be fabulous and see you in my next video.